All right, so let's see. I have the stream up now. No one's here yet. All right. Uh, so I, don't, I don't know if it's like too loud for them or not. I should probably turn down the. I'll just turn down the game volume. It's cool. Okay. I was probably gonna like stream it myself. You could do but... that too if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean we can co-stream. It's fine. Let's see. Okay. All right. I think I should just turn down the game volume, and then I'll be fine. I mean, no, no one's here right now. I don't know if they'll show up. I mean, it's TF2 in 2018. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I gotta. You got the the server right. I mean, there's like no one in it right now, but no, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out. Like, I want to, I want to play music in the background, but I don't want it to play directly from the desktop. I want to like use Nightbot. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, I, 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 ha I have it. I have it set up. So. Yeah. You go on the Nightbot website. Advertisement. Right. Game. Fucking TF2, man. Yeah, really. It's, it was the only game I could think of because we don't have too many game, too many of the same uh, games on Steam. Yeah, I don't really have I mean, any multiplayer games. Yeah, because like no I saw you had plenty of single right player. I don't know if there's any other servers that we can play. I mean, I'm sure there is, but Fuck. Yeah, there's no one in the server right now. It's it's kind of dead. It's it used to be popular years ago, but it, it's all dead now. So it sucks. I don't know exactly. Let's see. I mean, we could just play the regular game, and then... I'm pretty sure we could join friends or something. Okay. Should look for other servers, though, or something. Sure there's like a category or something. Like I hit play on the auto DJ, but I don't know if it's actually playing the song. On the stream, I mean. Well, it's gotta play through your desktop. I mean, that's how... It oh, goes. it does! Okay. Because it's just on the browser, so... Alright, I'm gonna mute you... Yeah. Oh, wait, no, wait. Alright, I'll just mute for a bit. The trade server. People still play this. 11 out of 32 players. It's got to be some sort of good server somewhere. I mean, this is a pretty dead game in 2018, but uh, I mean, there's some people playing it. It's got to be some sort of good server somewhere. I mean, this is a pretty dead game in 2018, but. I mean, there's some people playing it. It's got to be some sort of... somewhere. I mean, this is a pretty dead game. I'm trying to...
Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see, it's just it's all surf, obviously. I mean, it's like surfing's the big thing nowadays, but we're not doing surfing. That. All right. Let's see, what what is it, surf? What is what is jump? What is? I never heard of that. But jump I sounds that's... fun. Yeah. It's like it's like a I don't know, just like some rocket jumping thing. It's not deathmatch though. Like I I miss the old Mario Kart server where you could just kill everyone. There like is it people... gone or No, it's not gone. It's still there. It's just nobody's on it. Okay. There were like six people on it before, but like now there's no one on it right now. I remember there used to be like 30 people on there, and it was fun, but that was like a few <laughs> years ago. I remember your old video on it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of dying off now. As is TF2 as a whole. Yeah. I don't know, I guess you should just play the regular game and then see how it goes. Alright. Let's see. I don't really know that many servers or anything. Let's see, you're not you're not playing music on your stream, are you? No, I'm not. I don't. All right, because it's gonna it's not gonna be a long stream. I'll play for like an hour or something. All right. Let's see. Uh, what are you doing? I'm sure you could join my game. I guess through the friends menu or something. Probably. Uh. Actually, I think it's already starting up. Yep, join now. I have not played uh, in a while, automatically so... automatically said, like, your friend's joining this or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I have not played I this like in so long. Total play time is, like, the highest as a spy, only because of the uh, surfing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like my longest life is like an hour, right. and that's just because of surfing. Yeah. I gotta turn on my game audio. Yeah, Do you have, have it all the way game. down? Uh, not all the way down, but somewhat. All right. Down. Friggin', I don't remember what I used to like main or anything. All right. I'll go. I never really cared, honestly. <laughs> I only cared about the Mario Kart <laughs> server, and it was random seconds. every life, so I just, you know, you play with whatever it gives you. But, like, I don't freaking know, let's snipe some people, dude. Call of Duty. I don't really have anything good. I don't have any items or anything. I started playing TF2 in 2015, so it's like... <laughs> I think I started playing, like, a, like 2016. I don't know. Yeah. My friend used to just play the game a lot years ago, and... There were like all the memes on YouTube and stuff, and that was always fun, but like I never played the game myself, I never cared. Oh, oh, are we moving the payload Overwatch style? Yeah, I, I think so, I think that's what this is. I, you see, I don't, I, like, I'm not used to regular TF2, because even, even on top of what we're playing for nine years, I only played on that friggin' Mario Kart server. So I, ne I never cared about the main game or anything. I just wanted to mess around and shoot people in that server. It, I mean, there's sometimes oh, hey, there, what's up, but guys? sometimes it's sorry to kill you, but now I'm on your team. Yeah, I get what you're saying. <sighs> Shit, I forgot to mute these guys. Yeah. I don't think they can, no, they can't hear us because we're just in Discord. Yeah. Yeah, I hate it. Everybody can't make everyone. Actually, no, you can do Alright, I can do everyone. I don't care about them. I just oh, disabled no. I just disabled voice in this game. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know about real TF2 for the Mario Kart server. I should just play Pyro or something. Okay. Uh, I never cared about TF2, I only cared about the stupid SFM memes on YouTube. And 
when I finally started Honestly, playing. Yeah, like, I didn't really either. I don't know, it's just... Eh, what ifs. I only cared about, like, Mario Kart servers. It was fun. There's now one video. Yeah, no, like, video. I, I started playing CF2, like, as the server started dying, and, I'm, and I was really disappointed, because I was like, that looked like a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, even just a year ago, it was still active. There's moments where it's more active than others, so it's like more online, but not, not as frequent. Yeah. It's not like 24-7 anymore. Most hours, you'll have like five people on the server and it's boring. Like, I don't know what happened, it's just people lost interest. Yeah. I still have that freaking sound pack I made. With all the dead memes. I gotta shoot my gun and it says my name Jeff. Like... Yeah, my game's pretty much unchanged. I I haven't messed with any of like the sound stuff and all that because yeah. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a scrub like that, but that's a good kind of scrub, you know. Yeah, yeah let's see. I turn down this more. This is like, hold up, where's the yeah, setting? like Jesus Christ. The boss near the Okay, I didn't click apply. There That's we cool. go. That's a little lower. <sighs> yeah, I don't still have that sound pack. It's still up for download on Dropbox, I, was... I think. But like, it's full of dead memes now. Like, all the memes are dead now, so... Yeah. Memes have short lifespans. Especially nowadays. I miss 2009 memes, like... <laughs> Fucking 2009 memes. Like YouTube poop, that was golden age of YouTube. YouTube poop? Okay, alright. I'm gonna be honest, like, there are still some really good YouTube poops. Like, have you seen oh, yeah, Spoon? There's, there's still some of them. Yeah. Like... They're, they're, they're rare. Like, have you seen Spinge Binge? Spinge Binge. Spinge there's Binge. Plenty of Spinge Bill. Yeah. I died. I died. Like, I've times. been I've, I, I think yeah, I've died like eight times right now. Yeah. Who cares about playing the game seriously? It's 2018, first of all, so like no one cares anymore. Even if they did in the I'm past. I'm trying to like, fucking change my class! Yeah, you just press it, E and then. Or, yeah, it's, it's, it's telling me that I need to press like comma or something. Oh, I don't know. You just, Press it and then you just choose whatever class and then. It... All right, I need to I need to fix that. Let's just set it to E and a key. There we go. Yeah, I think I just set it to E myself. I don't know. Where where is our payload or whatever it is? Um, you can see it's like highlighted in your view. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, not that I really give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well try to play the game. You gotta like, I don't know, like this game, like I wish I played it in the past, but like I did. I was busy playing Roblox in the past, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! And like Minecraft and stuff, like I didn't play this game. Like this game is even older than Minecraft, this game is from 2007. It's about as old as Roblox is, which is pretty crazy, because it doesn't seem like it's that old sometimes. But, like, yeah, like, you think about it, this, this game came out in 2000. 2007, we were in first grade. Yeah. And even back then, when my friend was showing me all the memes, like the game was already like five years old by then. So, yeah. Like, the game's been around for a long time, so obviously it's kind of dying off now, but like it's, it's still fun. It's. it's no, fun. yeah, I get, I get you. Alright, my game's still going. Alright. I, I was just making sure. Mario Kart server, like I know there's, you know, not too many people who enjoy it, but it's just fun messing around. It's like there's no, there's nothing else to do in the game. There's no point in taking the game seriously. Yeah, like th there's no story or anything, so like there's really no point in playing it. <laughs> I mean, like with Overwatch, but I do rather like Overwatch. I remember the the whole hype with the the hats and stuff. Like, this game was all about the hats, and trading, and collecting hats and stuff, it's like... Yeah. Like, people 
barely play the game anymore, though, so it's like... Yeah, like, this game itself off. is a dead meme to celebrate dead memes. There's, like, no point in taking it seriously anymore, so you would think that more people would go to, like, these random servers just to mess around with them, but... I guess they just don't know about them or something. So we'll just play this version. I think there are still people that play this game competitively. I think there still are, but they're not, not as many as there used to be. No, I, 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 yeah, like, it's a very scarce number, but I'm pretty sure there are still some. I'm gonna go the heavy, just because why not? I don't know if I've got the suit. I, I honestly don't know if I have either. <laughs> I don't even care at this point. It's like... I was hoping to play that, like... Because I, I was on, like, just an hour ago, checking out the, the Mario Kart server just to see what it was like, and there were, like, six people here or something. So, like, I don't know. It, it fluctuates a lot. You gotta get... You gotta be on on the right hours. Like, we we would have had a lot. We would We would have had a better chance just playing Roblox. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how Roblox is older than, like, even this game? And... No, yeah, like, like, Roblox is almost as old as we are. Yeah, it was 2006, I believe. Okay, like, like so, I, like, I was, like five. we were busy playing Sesame Street games in kindergarten. Yeah. I still vaguely remember that, like, in our kindergarten class. Like, like, they had the TV and, like, the Sesame Street DVD game. It wasn't anything much. Like, you just, like, I guess you just, like, moved around the town or whatever. No, I don't even think but I like, remember that. Like, as a five-year-old, I'm like, that shit was lit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I should never say lit again. I need I to so much. jump out a window. And then he killed me at the same time. The so, yeah, Roblox, so like, I joined kill. Roblox in, what, I think 2010? But like even then, like you know, the game's 12 years old now. Like if you joined in 2010, I, I still have nostalgia for that game. You know, like people even say 2008 was way better than 2010. And like 2010, Roblox that that year was so much better than 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 now, than the way it is now. Like it's a completely different game now. Oh no, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Like, they don't got the ro- Wait, what did they get rid of? The Robux? Tickets. Oh, tickets, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that whole thing. I, I remember you ranting about it in, like, the yeah, Robux yeah, yeah. you made in, like, I, 20... I made, like, my character covered in tickets and blowing the clothes and stuff that they were selling. Oh, I just jumped off a cliff. Celebrate the, uh... Not celebrate, but... Mourn the tickets because it was, it was fun. And it, it's funny how Roblox is more popular now than even like Minecraft. I mean Minecraft is still popular because it's like the second most sold game of all time or something like that. Oh no yeah yeah I get that and ever since and now with the like cross play with Nintendo Switch and Xbox. Oh uh, yeah I mean but like Roblox, it's funny how like the game's 12 years old. It's older than most popular games are nowadays, except for like games and stuff like that. And but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Now it's becoming popular, and that's only because of YouTubers and stuff. Like now it's at its but prime or something. But my like, cousins, whenever I go, whenever I go to my grandma's house, because my cousins live with my grandma, they're always playing Roblox. It, it's point. either. There was a point where Roblox was kind of dying down, and then YouTube started playing it and just made it more popular than it ever was. YouTube, YouTube makes a lot of things popular, mainly because you got, you got, you got all these people like screaming at the video game because oh, I'm bad at it. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, screaming makes it popular. You know, it's just because people like the NTDM play it, Jacksepticeye, and. People like that, and you know, whenever a guy, whenever someone likes them, plays a game, everyone likes the game too. Yeah. Like, I will be they they if like I hype play it up a lot. Games that this famous YouTuber is playing. That makes me cool. Like, you know, that's how I play. honestly would not have gotten into Overwatch had it not been for people like Jack Septicai, because like he's not he's not like one of the A-list Overwatch players, but he's still like entertaining to watch.
You know what I mean? Yeah, I was I was never into Overwatch. Like I saw so much gameplay from watching like me is here, Pyro Cynical and those guys in like 2016. What what, what happened to Leafy? Everyone hated him. Idubs roasted him so hard that he just left the website for good. <laughs> That's a damn shit. Cause I I love Leafy's videos. Yeah, I used to like them, but like, and then it started. He started to get kind of like wonder. he kept repeating himself every video, and like it was always the same thing. Yeah. And Idubs kind of just called him out for what he was doing wrong, and then just left the website. Idubs is a fucking meme himself. Yeah. This guy's talking, and I'm just like, why, why do you care? Why? Wow, I didn't even notice because I was busy playing the game. Let me, let me pull up my chat so I could see it. <laughs> it's not for. We should have played Fortnite. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We should not have played Fortnite. Fortnite. Like Overwatch, I'd even play Overwatch over Fortnite. I still don't want to play Overwatch because I've seen too much of it. Yeah, like. I don't get what all the hype is. Boy, can't believe town in 24 and in four hours, but you don't sleep and watch scrub. Lol. Good decision. Yeah, I got I got like both chats open, M mine and yours. Yeah. Yeah, my friend's streaming too. Go give his channel a follow if you like. Please, I don't have any friends. I don't even have friends online. <laughs> Living the dream. Egg McMuffin? I thought that said Eggman Muffin. Oh, I'm sorry. I, hair. I've, I've actually been playing a lot of Sonic recently. Getting back into it. Oh, yeah. For the longest time, I hadn't had um, Sonic... For the longest time, I hadn't had Sonic Generations on PC, and when I finally got it, I downloaded so many mods to the point where. Do that on stream. I haven't done that. Yeah, you know, like there are a lot of fun mods. Like the Unleashed Pro the people behind the Unleashed, you know what the Unleashed Project is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, the people behind that, they they were complaining like, oh, we can't get Eggman Land done. But like, I found a really good Eggman Land mod that like. It eliminates all the Werehog- It turns all of the Werehog sections into playable Sonic sections. Oh, yeah, I'm like, sure there's a way they could do that, yeah. No, I'm just like, get in contact with the guy who made that mod. Collaborate on it, like- Yeah, sometimes it's like, you just want people- Like, you're like, it should be so obvious. Like, why not just do this? Like, you, you wanna just shake him and like, do this thing! Just, like, that they like have common sense and actually look around in the community that they're trying to appeal to. But no, like, we can't do this ourselves, so we're not gonna get it done. I'm not resorting to help. I just jumped. How did I break Six, my legs? I don't want assists, I want to kill them. Someone. I have not gotten. Over over. I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten a single kill in this entire game. Oh, I'm shooting on it. Okay, this has become less about moving the payload and more just like people shooting the shit out of each other. This guy, these guys in chat just keep screaming, Medic! Medic! I'm like, you think anyone cares? I'm doing pretty good storm out here, baby. Warcraft, yeah, I never played World of Warcraft either. Oh boy. No, it's all about Roblox for me. And that wasn't even uh, until 2010, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was a kid, I was busy playing with my Legos, like, you know, yeah, yeah. physical toys. Right. Like, like yeah. a child should. Yeah, I was, I was on that Bionicle, I was on that Bionicle life. Who wasn't? I was too. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you're a 2000s kid, especially a, a 2000s boy, and you didn't like Bionicle, then you didn't live childhood, a proper childhood. Obviously. Like, that's the thing, kids nowadays don't have physical toys anymore, it sucks. Oh, we're on oh the no, yeah, like, like, and if they do, they can, for some reason, just connect it to the internet. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, like, they get physical toys, and then they just have a game for it on their phones or something. Oh, yeah. And they, it completely like, defeats the purpose of, like, at, like, you know, when we were kids, obviously, they were, like, online, like, Lego games and stuff. And oh, no, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I, I remember I had a copy. I played with them like a child, you know. I remember I had a copy of Lego Island. I never got to play it. Oh, you had that? I, wish I, I, I never that. got to play it, though, but I looked at reviews online, and then... And I think it was pretty crap. I only ever played like the online flash games, but like those were fun as hell too. I, I also I also remember like my my mom, my parents, like we we did eventually get a Wii, I think like two years after it was released. And we got like a lot of the crappy games for it. Uh, I don't think like, I got my Wii in year twenty eleven actually. I got my Wii very late. Yeah yeah I I think I remember hearing you talk about that, because, like, you got it around the time, like... You got it, you got it, like, right before Sonic Colors came out, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe a little after. It's like, I definitely... Like, my first Sonic game was yeah. the DS version of Colors, and, like, my DS yeah. was, like, my first game console. I still remember my first two Sonic games were Sonic 1 Virtual Console and Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. Yeah, and I just had my DS for like a year or two, or maybe even three before I finally I still... got like a console. Like, you know, like, oh yeah, I keep forgetting a month. The Ritz, you know, I'm kill you guys now. I still have my DS. Like, my original DS Lite. The, like, the screen is broken, but it still works. I can still remember when I got pissed at my DS and snapped it in half. Oof. And then I got a, I, I got a new one eventually. So, it didn't matter. Burn, bitches! I, I think that was around the time. Maybe I got a new DS Lite, actually. Or maybe it was around the time the 3DS came out, so I just got that. It's, no, I it, don't remember. I, I was, I didn't get a 3DS until I graduated with, I, air quotes, graduated around um, eighth grade. Like, oh. once, once I. Once I quote unquote graduated eighth grade, I finally got a 3DS, and I did get a 3DS XL. But like, I really want the one of the 3D. I really want a 2DS XL because like they look awesome. I'm gonna be completely honest. I love how they how they did it. It's pretty good. That I mean, obviously, like the 2DS. Is there's no difference between the 2DS and the 3DS. Oh like, no, yeah, no definitely. I, it would literally just be for cosmetic. I wouldn't. It's not like it's the best, the, the the best the 3DS can get, but like, but the Zelda one that released recently, that is a nice system. Like, like, it actually looks like they ripped the shield and they made it into a system. I keep yelling, don't I? No, that's good. All right. Um. Yeah, I think I got my first 3DS around the time it came out. It was like, I think either 2011 or very early 2012 or something like that. I got it. And then I gave that DS to my friend after I got my 3DS XL, which I ordered with the capture card already pre-built. It's like, I figured my DS is getting small. And, like, you know, my hands are getting bigger. I need a bigger DS. Like, the tiny screen is killing me, so... Then I figured since I'm gonna record DS games anyway, I might as well just order a new one with the capture card. Don't and then you it. never did. <laughs> no, I did. I got Oh, you did? Oh, right, right, right. And then I gave my old one to my friend, and then the screen, like, broke on him or something. I don't know what happened to that thing. <laughs> like, I must have beaten it up or something. I never really got a capture card, mainly because, like, YouTube was always, like, sketchy with me, like... I wanted to release videos, but I didn't want my parents finding out, so I didn't want to make, like, a huge purchase or anything. So, like, like what are you purchasing that for? Uh... Uh... But, yeah. Yeah, I think it was, like, 500 bucks, the 
3DS with the capture card. Oh no, yeah, like like the original 3DS capture cards were like like really expensive. Yeah. First game was solitaire. And my game, and my first game was like solitaire too. I, and my first game actually was the Windows XP pinball. Ah, uh, that was the that. shit. That was fun as hell. I missed that game. Um, my first actual video game, I don't remember, actually. I think the, the first one that I can remember, at least, was, I believe, like, Cars on the DS. I mean, like, that was when I first got my DS to light. I think before then, I would just... I would always try to play, like, Nick Arcade games. Like, you remember Nick Arcade? I think so. I don't think yeah, I it was like, myself or anything, but... But, like, I was never really allowed to play games because I... Because my my parents were like, don't don't download a virus. Oh, yeah. Action ends in ten seconds. Yeah, the only online like, games I ever played, four, like, if, if I wasn't three, just looking up two, random Flash no games on the, on the internet, like, in grounds or something, then I was just New playing Lego games. Like, I was, I'm... Legos were my child. Yeah. I'm gonna be completely honest, I never really, like, I never really used Newgrounds to find Flash games. Yeah, I never used it to find Flash games, but most of the Flash games that I did play were, like, they were from Newgrounds, like, they were just mirrored on other sites. Like, most of the Flash games I found, they weren't on Newgrounds. They were on, like, random websites. And that's yeah, probably that's, why... That's I mean. Like, they were on random websites, but they were, like, from Newgrounds. Like, they were, like... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grounds, but they were just linked on other websites or something. Like, I never used the Newgrounds website. Maybe once or twice, but I, I don't remember. Like, I didn't know what it was. I was young. I wasn't, like, in online communities or anything like that, so... Yeah, like, all these YouTubers I watch, I try to insert myself in, like, a time that they were in, but, like, they were, like, using Windows 95 PCs when they were 5, and I was using XP to 7. Yeah, I used Windows XP for, like, maybe the first decade of my life. I mean, I don't remember when I got Windows 7 for the first time, but... And it's funny because the Windows XP that was on my, like, the first computer I used, like, my family's computer, it had, like, a, like, a Windows 2000 or, like, 98 sort of theme to it. Like, it looked like it was Windows 2000, but it was actually XP. It was just, like, a classic theme or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, all the gray bars and stuff. Like, it didn't look exactly like yeah, XP. Like... <laughs> so, like, I still like to think I grew up with, like, Windows 2000, even though it was, it was XP. I remember the, the opening... You know, remember when the opening thing, the jingle for Windows XP became a movie? And I was just oh like, my that, that was my childhood. Like, I grew up hearing that sound every day, and all these kids just think it's a meme nowadays. Oh, yeah. But, like, I, I remember a bunch of different sounds that used to ter- oh, Excuse me. They used to terrify me. Um, one of them was, like, when Windows had an error, like, the dun you remember that when the screen went blue oh yeah and all that 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 i had a nightmare where that sound happened and i just like fainted <laughs> like the fucking sound killed me <laughs> and then another one was like when a when like when like when you got a disney movie on dvd you would have the disney home entertainment thing that also terrified me for some reason you know what terrified me and most other kids? THX opening. Oh my god. Thing. Like, to be completely honest, that didn't scare me as much as the Disney stuff. <laughs> I mean, Disney is pretty terrifying. Now that they've got Fox, what are they gonna- They're gonna make a Simpsons- <laughs> yeah. They're gonna make a Simpsons Disney movie. It, they've been terrifying ever since they acquired Marvel. It's like, this is the beginning of the end. Disney ac acquires everything. They're going to acquire yeah. everything. Yeah, next they're gonna buy fucking Nintendo. Yeah, that would suck. Actually, I hope they don't. Th let's hope they don't. Because I do enjoy all the, like, third-party support that Nintendo's got with all the M-rated games for the Switch. Disney I buys yeah. Call of Duty World Ends. Oh, God. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Please rate... 
Please rate the presence of random critical hits horrible. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. They've uh, they've updated the game since you know like the years past or whatever, like a few years ago. But like yeah. it, it hasn't revived the game or anything. Hasn't really kept it alive. In any, I mean, I guess it has, but like like I said, no one plays on the random servers anymore. They just play like normally. It's like I miss the old random server. I just want to play getcha. on that. Because it's funny just hearing all the sounds that I put into my sound pack. Internet modems. Hmm. Flash games. No iPhones. Oh, yeah, I remember. No iPhones. <laughs> I think I got, well, I iPhone, think I got like three points that round. <laughs> yeah. iPhones came out in 2007, but like they didn't, you know, iPhones, smartphones didn't Actually, become popular until like 2010. It took a few years. So I think like, the first iPhone... I don't remember when the first iPhone came out, actually. I believe it was 2007. Easy getting viruses. Yeah, I, I think I was lucky enough to never have gotten a virus. I think, it, like, one time in, like, maybe 2011 or 12 or some, I accidentally, like, I was looking up fucking Club Penguin cheats for some reason. I don't know why. I was looking up card jitsu cheats because I was a little scrub and I just wanted to win at shit. And I was looking up, uh, like, uh, like tips and, like, cheats and hacks and shit on Club Penguin out of all things. And, like, I, I went on this one website and then it just locked my computer. And it was like, you gotta pay the FBI 200 bucks, but like, it was just a virus and... Oh, you, know, uh, you got ransomware? My dad, my dad, yeah, ransomware, and that's what it's called. And my dad just was like, yeah, alright, just reset the computer, you know, do F8 or whatever. And that's when I learned how to do that for the first time. Yeah. So, and then I was like, okay, never, never looking up Club Penguin sheets ever again, guys. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, I remember... I, Club Penguin is also another game that, you know, like every kid... Yeah, yeah, from, like... Like two thousand. I'm still later. so I'm still so salty that Club Penguin's over. They did make a legacy website where you could still play. Oh the yeah, game. yeah, like you like, have I, all the I membership benefits without have, without actually paying for membership. Yeah, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm sure it's like full of memes. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I miss Club Penguin too. I didn't play it as much as like Roblox and stuff, but like it, it was fun. Every, every kid at least played Club Penguin once or twice. Yeah. If you, if I definitely like, spent a lot more time playing like Club Penguin. Kid. I remember I needed to make like 10 different accounts because I was always forgetting my password. <laughs> Mission begins in 30 seconds. Yeah, the thing is, like, I didn't really get on, like, the whole internet thing, and, like, yeah, even video games in general, I wasn't really into it until I was, like, 9 or 10 or something. But, like, that makes me think, like, most of these kids, like, even if they were born in, like, 2000, like, they didn't, like, they, they all grew up on the internet and stuff, even they, like, didn't grow up, like, as kids in the past did with, like, physical toys and stuff. I was lucky enough to have all my Bionicles and Legos, and I enjoyed them. And you know, enjoying physical toys and playing with like actual toys. I mean, I did yeah. go on the internet every now and then, like, but like not as much as I did in like the 2010s like, decade. Kids are only really getting physical toys when they're infants, like when they're babies. Yeah. I, that that's what I've seen. Cause like, as soon as you get to like age five, then you start giving them iPads and stuff, and like that. It's just like, I wish there was this, I wish there were, I wish kids got a lot more toys nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, even though I, I was a bit of a tech nerd, like, even though I was using a lot of technology, um, like when I was like, I think I turned like seven when I started really getting into technology. But before that, I was using, I was just playing with toys. I yeah, was, yeah. Uh, same. Lego. Legos, action figures, all that stuff. Yeah, it was mostly Legos for me, and like I just, I just loved Lego. Like it was just my childhood for like, you know, up until like 2010 or whatever. Even after 2010, I got a few of the Hero Factory things, but like I didn't enjoy them as much. And, then, and even then, like Legos are like the ultimate toy. Yeah, really. When you think about it, it's build like, whatever the hell you want. Yeah, the, the kings of physical toys, pretty much. Even then, you know, they're on the brink of... I mean, they've been very successful lately. Oh, no, yeah, definitely. Stuff. Like a movie, too. Good lord. 
And I mean, that's at least keeping them alive for now. But in the future, oh, yeah. if, if they don't keep up that, you know, they have to keep up the whole media connection, which kind of sucks because it kind of defeats the whole purpose of it being a physical toy. And like, you know, like, yeah, we can only Wait. hope that the media and stuff like allows kids to enjoy the toys equally. But like, we can hope that like, let's just hope that, you know, because Legos built, it's based on the physical toy. So let's hope that they yeah. don't lose that and like lose the whole sense of physical toys because like if that dies then lego dies as a whole no matter how right. successful their yeah. media is i mean even the, even then even if they do like promote the physical toys like at the same time the prices are like fluctuating like crazy yeah yeah legos are expensive too that's the thing like most people would probably rather just buy like a like an iPhone or an iPad like, and then have their kid download a bunch of free apps that they can play for like years rather than like having to constantly buy physical toys but like you know like my parents would sacrifice all their money to give me the friggin toys and like look how well I grew up like you know if you want your kid to have a good life like give them some physical some, toys to play with some material things to hold on to yeah have nostalgia there's, like, for. there's something special something very sentimental about giving your kid a toy yeah really because it's something Click. that they'll be able to hold on to for their whole life if they're sentimental about it and they love it. It's like, they'll be able to hold on to it, maybe pass it on to their kids or something, you know, it's just a, you know, having a physical toy is a lot different than, you know, Stuff, playing an online game do. or something, like, I, you can be nostalgic like, for both, but it's not the same type of nostalgia, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Uh. So like, I mean, I don't think it's entirely bad that kids are like using technology because like this is the world they grow up in. It's kind of expected, you know, that they just are comfortable with all of this. And assuming that a lot of them play educational apps and stuff when they're young, like I don't see the problem with it as long as they're, you know, learning from it. But like, I still think that they should have some like physical sentimentality that they can experience. Like I. It just feels weird, you know. I, I was born, like, only ten years before these kids, and they're growing up in such a different time than I am. Yeah. It's not like this. the 20th century, like, where kids like would relatively grow up but we the same. 50. Yeah. That's the thing. Like Again, you know, again like, sign of times changing. Like, we can relate better to 90s kids than we can to the 2000s kids, because they're just growing up with, like, techno... I mean, we can kind of relate to both. We can relate to the, you know, the physical sentimentality of the, like, the 90s kids and 80s kids. But we kids can also, like, relate to the digital sentimentality of With the, the internet. But even then, the internet has evolved so much over the last decade because it's such a new thing. It's evolved so much over the last couple decades that, like, like technology the internet's not the same. Yeah. Social media and the internet is so much faster nowadays and so much more connected than it was, like, a decade ago. Like, it was even like, a completely different internet back then. In the 80s, the like, with, with like an MS-DOS or something, like, you had to type in commands to do stuff. Now you just click, 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 click. Yeah, the internet, like, actually didn't start becoming popular until, like, 95, I think it was. Like, the internet's very new. So, like, it's changed a lot over, like, the last couple decades that it's been around. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, the weirdest thing to think about. Like... We grew up, like, with this stuff, like, in its childhood. Yeah. yeah if, if you think about it. Yeah, we were, like, obviously not at the very, very beginning of it, but even compared to, like, the future, like, oh, no, yeah, we like, were kind of like the pioneers gonna... of the internet. We this were is... one of the first I know, generations I, know, I definitely of the know, internet. like, this is just the beginning. Yeah. And, like... 30 or 40 years or so, the internet's gonna be in your freaking brain. E even nowadays, like, the kids who are growing up with it nowadays, like, I don't know how much more the internet can really change, but, like, even in the future, like, they're gonna be seen as, like, some of the first people on the internet. Yeah. Saw a four-year-old girl with an <laughs> iPhone 6, what the hell? Four-year-old four with a phone, that's not old. right. Jesus Christ. Got a phone in 2007 before iPhones were my, a thing. My I parents had the rule that you can't have a phone until you're 11. And I my never first got phone... my first phone until I was, I think, 12 or something like that. Like, and my first phone wasn't even an iPhone. It was a, it was a faux Blackberry. I think my... Yeah, my first phone was a smartphone, but it was a cheap little Android for like 100 bucks. It wasn't an iPhone. 
Also, I love watching people trying to debate whether or not Apple Apple is better than Android. Oh yeah, I mean. Is app? I mean, like they all have their own. And like they're, they're equal, obviously. They've got they've got positives and negatives. Android has definitely gotten a lot better. Android is just like more convenient in the sense that there's like so many more options. Like you don't have to get an yeah. eight hundred dollar phone. You can get a two hundred dollar phone if you want. And then you can get an eight hundred dollar phone later and still keep all the same stuff because it's you know Android and everything. Yeah, yeah, that Google. that Android like ecosystem. Like with an iPhone, you have to waste your money if you want an iPhone. Like, it, or you know, maybe not waste your money, but like if you know that you can afford it. But like most people waste their money on iPhones when they can't afford them, and they just like they buy the next iPhone every single time a new one comes out. And it's like you don't have to do this. Like, no, yeah, I, I totally get that. Like. I'll admit I'm kind of spoiled that way because my parents, they they have the money to get us new, new upgrades every year. Yeah, my parents are always like, you know, we can get a phone, you know, whenever. It's just like, I choose not to get... I mean, I do want a new phone, like, uh, like pretty soon I think I'm going to switch to an Android, but like... You know, I, I feel like I should, like, I'm starting to feel like I should pay for the phone myself. Like, I want to, honestly. No, oh. yeah, definitely, like... I feel like when you turn 18, you should start, like, paying for stuff yourself a lot more. Like, and I'm not talking just, like, video games or something like that, but, like, like bigger purchases, like phone bills. Uh, car. Yeah, car payments. Like, my dad, thankfully, was nice enough to pay for my car insurance, but I feel like eventually... I have to, I have to like make my own money and get pay for that myself. Yeah, I mean, obviously I will. Like, the thing is, like, I'm in like high level classes in school, so like, I don't really have that much time right now to deal with it, like a like going to work. Like, I do like some stuff online for money every now and then, but like, I, I don't work like a proper job yet. But like, cause I, I don't have the time to. I want to enjoy my youth while I'm still young. I want to have some yeah. fun. All these kids are like thinking that they have to go and get a job like when they're 16 or 17 and start building up money now and and then they you know they constantly complain oh my life is shit like I'm depressed like you wonder why because you're not giving yourself any free time to relax you're not like enjoying your life at all you're just trying to get everything done at once and it's not healthy you're yeah, stressing yourself that. out too much like I'm trying to just enjoy my time while I can and in the future you know when I go to college maybe I'll have more time then to work a proper job and like earn money then and start you know having like some more responsibility but like you know I'll worry about that when I get there no, you, know, yeah, like, you I don't get have that. to like, do it right I away no one's I in a am rush. working a job but like it's not I'm not trying to work it to the point where like oh everything is about this job and then I have sc I do have schoolwork over the summer I'm I'm honestly like putting it off <laughs> yeah I, mean, I, I am I'm too I, like I'm procrastinating I need to get it done I should I should start working on it like tomorrow I think I will yeah, yeah I, I should still get it done and I definitely am but like I mean I don't know. I mean, the, the Boy, whole thing is like working balance a job. Is minus one. Yeah, right. You see, in America, you're not even allowed to own a credit card until you're 18. <laughs> it's friggin' uh, yeah, yeah. what's credit, it called? Credit, card. credit cards. Yeah, you can't own. But I have a debit card because my yeah, I don't. I don't have like... a debit. I just use PayPal. Like I'm just like PayPal credit, my dude. Yeah. Um, Even then, I don't think you're supposed I, to use actually, PayPal until you're 18. But um, yeah, like, I, I just uh, my PayPal parents account. actually caught me. In, oh like, wow. I I can't you. I have to make a new PayPal when I turn 18. Yeah, I just use my parents' PayPal account. I didn't oh, even know that was a thing. Honestly, I tried making my own one time. Thankfully, I deleted it before they caught me. But like, I didn't use it for much. I just thought I would like try making one. No, like, I just I didn't use my parents any, for now. Like I didn't have any balance in it. All that was linked to it was my bank account, and like they said, like okay, like when you turn 18, you we, just call us and we'll help you set up your new profile. And like, yeah, it sucks that I can't do that because like I was I was going to use it again because I w I made a purchase on eBay and my card got hacked. Oh, like wow. people were trying, people were trying to withdraw money from my account. Oh yeah, that's and I'm not like, good. oh sh, oh shit. So like, I'm not gonna be using eBay probably 
for a, for a long while. And besides, yeah. like, Amazon, Amazon is much better with that, even though, like, you can't find, like, like, rare stuff. But, like, if I want to buy, like, if I don't want, if, if I want to buy something, like, I don't know, like, if I want to buy a video game, like, physically, which, I don't know why I would, because, like, my Steam, I mean, I've got a computer, I've got Steam, I can, but, like, if, if I wanted to do that, buy a game I physically, like I would just use Amazon. Yeah. I don't really use Amazon just because it doesn't allow PayPal, like, I would use Amazon, but, like, I don't have, like, a debit card or a credit card to use it yet. My friend in, uh, uh, Dip Boy over here, he lives in Russia, and after 14, you're allowed to get a credit card. So, uh, like, yeah, but in America, you have to be 18 or older to have a credit card legally. A passport, you can have when you're... Oh, no, age, yeah, think, you, get a, you get a passport when you're, like, five. Yeah, I mean, you, my parents, like, never gave me a passport because we never traveled anywhere. No, like, yeah, so, like, yeah, I don't I have do, one, don't, but you can get I a passport I don't have my here. passport in my room or anything. Like, my parents hold on to my passport. Because, like... I'm not gonna be leaving the country by myself. Yeah. PayPal's not popular in Russia. Yeah, it's it's pretty popular here in America. Like everything uses it oh, no, yeah, except definitely. for Amazon. A lot of things, um, especially like, eBay. Like I just use it for eBay mainly because I'm just eBay, like collecting back and forth again now that the release yeah. is coming out. Yeah, it's definitely so, better like, to use PayPal for eBay, especially because I. I got my card hacked, but like that's besides the point. Yeah, PayPal is definitely used because like they encrypt your stuff. Yeah, the thing is like my, you know, I, like I'm technically using it legally because it's my parents' account. It's under their email. It's under their bank account. I'm just the only yeah. one who uses it. Like they don't use it for anything. I, I'm the only no, one. Yeah, who uses I, I totally it, get that. Like, so like I didn't. I actually didn't even know it was a rule that you couldn't. You have to be over 18 to use PayPal. So like thankfully I'm just using my parents' account. And yeah. I'll just use that until I'm 18 next year or whatever, and then I'll make my own. And even then, like, my parents are really, like, paranoid about, like, money and stuff. And, like, I keep telling them, like, you could just link my savings account. Like, I don't care. Because, like, it's linked to their bank account, but they don't like it being linked to their bank account. But they don't think they have any like, other options. I'm like, you can just link it to my savings like account, which is technically owned by them as well. Like, I don't have my own bank account yet, either. So, like, I don't, don't know what your... the problem is. Oh, that, uh, that's actually surprising, because, like, I think as soon as I turn 13, or... No, I'm not 13. Um, I think, like, once I got, I think, into... Uh, I think when I first got into high school, my parents set up a bank account for me. Yeah, I mean, I do have my own bank account. Like, it's for me. It's my own money. But like my parents oh, okay. created it so like i don't i mean i guess i own it but like my parents also they're technically the owners of it it's just yeah, under my name it's my money like I, I never made one myself yet and I, I don't think anyone you know like kids should make their own like bank account you know no, unless they yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. need to i don't know you know i never i don't had know why a little to. kid would need to what you need to make a bank account just so you can buy more robux yeah yeah, like, why do that when you could just steal your parents' credit card, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Paul. But yeah, like, PayPal, like, definitely, I definitely want to start everyone. up, I definitely want to start up streaming a bit more when I get my PayPal made, because, like, uh, they link, you can link your PayPal to the, the Streamlabs, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's how you get people's donations. Yeah, if they do. Uh, which never happens, but... <laughs> it's there just in case, you know? I'm not getting followers, what am I thinking? Let's see, 14 is the age when you can travel on a train or plane alone. Yeah, the thing is, in America, like, you know... Like, just American families in general are a lot more protective and I don't think they would ever allow a 14-year-old child to go on a plane or a train. I mean, a train is different, I guess, but like a plane to, like, especially to another country. Like, within the country, maybe. But, like, usually, I, I don't even know if it's, like, allowed for, for a, like, a, I think it's allowed for a 17-year-old to board a plane on their own with justification or something like that. But, like, I think you have to be, like, 18 or over. 
Oh shit! Oh wait, no. I don't have viewers. It, it said for a second that I had two viewers, but they're gone. Getting a driving license is the same in America, I guess. So it depends on the state, actually. Uh, let's see, 18 alone, 16 with someone. Uh, here, it's in New Jersey. You get a permit at 16, so you have to drive with a parent. And then when you're 17, you get your license. You can drive alone with restrictions. And then when you turn 18, you get your normal license and you get your restrictions lifted. Is it 18? Yeah, it's 18 to get your normal license, but you get your okay. pro your probationary license at 17. So like, yeah, you can drive I have on my your probationary own. Probationary license. Yeah, I get mine in a couple weeks when I turn 17. Good luck to you, my. Oh, you're still 16. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my birthday Forgot about is the that. 18th, and I go for my driving test on my birthday, so I'll just get it that day, and then, and then, yeah, you're 17, you can drive alone, uh, but you have restrictions, Wait. like you can't drive yeah. between 8, like 11 p.m. and, and 5 a.m., I think it is, and there's like other yeah. weird restrictions. Like, you can't have more than one passenger unless one of the passengers is 21. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then when you're 18, you're considered like a legal adult, so you just have the restrictions yeah. removed. At you that point. can drive a minivan and drive your friends all the way to Albuquerque or wherever the hell you want to go. Yeah, I mean, I, you could drive a minivan, I think. Like, I mean, my car is technically like, I don't know if it's like a, I guess it's a minivan. I mean, I can drive that. Yeah, car. I have. Yeah, it, my there's parents... no like class restrictions on that or anything. I've got. I don't think there's any restrictions on what you can drive unless um, unless it's a motorcycle. You have to get a separate license to drive a yeah. motorcycle. And obviously there's higher level, you know, licenses for trucks, like uh, buses, things like that. But, you know, like a minivan, I think, counts as an actual, like, you know, just normal car. So, like, I can use that as well. Like, I think my car's a minivan. On the Odyssey, pretty sure that's a minivan. Yeah. Or at least a very large SUV. How long have you been playing? Uh, about an hour. About oh, okay. Credit card is really good. Especially the Apple Pay. Yeah, I can't wait until I can finally have a credit card, like an official credit card, and stop living on PayPal credit that I share with my family. I mean, I don't really share it with my family. I mean, every now and then my sister will buy some. So, like, yeah. technically, you know, it's my parents' account. My sister can use it. My parents can use it if they want to. Like, it's not my rightfully owned PayPal account or anything. I just am the one who uses it the most. Okay, I have to interrupt for a second. Why do I take fall damage? Yeah, that I is don't the know. dumbest thing ever. Yeah, there's fall damage in, in normal TF2. Not in the server, uh, the Mario Kart one though. Because there's high jumping in the Mario Kart server too. It's like moon gravity or something. Yeah, alright. Uh, yeah, I can't wait till I can finally have a credit card and like just, you know, use credit and build yeah. up credit score so like I can buy a home yeah. in the future you know what i mean yeah my parents i can't wait keep... to have like a proper credit card because i have a debit card yeah that's and... not the same thing really yeah i think i have I, I think there are a lot of restrictions for a debit card a debit card like you know it's basically just money on a card like there's no credit so you you have to have the money to be able to use it so like what makes it a credit card again well a credit card is like you don't have to have the money with you like the card itself has a certain value that you can you know use as long as you pay it back within like the next month or something and that's how you build credit score is when you buy things with the credit and then you pay it back to the card within that within like the next Does month like... or something and pay it back in time that's how credit works oh uh, okay and that's how the you know they make money from that and stuff Like, they're not actually no. losing any money by giving you the credit card, but, like, when you pay the, you know, the credit company back, like, with the money, that's how they make the money. Because, like, the card has the value, and it's just, I don't know for sure, like, 1 or 2%, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like, you know, Going debit card is like, debit card is like, you have to actually have the money to be able to use it, like, you know, yeah, you have the money put on the card, and then you yeah. just hold it there. Yeah, because I've had that for a couple years now. But, like, I haven't really made money until recently, because, like, one thing I do like about my job, I get an insane... Well, I mean, insane for me. I get a really good paycheck. I make, like, a hundred 
a hundred to hundred fifty bucks a week. That's pretty good. And by the end of the summer, I'll have more than enough to get a switch. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like I know I'm supposed to save my money for uh, for for college and. Yeah, don't worry all about that. that. You see I'm pop. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get like loans, and if I have to pay them off, boo hoo. Everyone does, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, like mostly everyone just gets college loans, and I'm probably gonna shoot for scholarship. And like, the college I'm looking at, it's like twenty five grand a year. Like yeah, women board included. Colleges, they're just private businesses. All they want is your money. Scholarships are just discounts. That's basically, ju it's just another name for discounts. Yeah. They just don't call it yeah. discounts to make it seem less like a business and more like a, like an education, even though I all guess. it is, it's but technically a private industry, you know? I'm still just confused as to why college tuition is so freaking expensive. Well, I mean, that's, like I said, they're a private business, that's how they make their money, they don't really make money any other way. So their, their only chance to make money is, you know, when a student signs really up for a tuition. Students. And since, you know, every tuition counts for, like, like, you know, every payment's like one year or whatever, they, they technically only make, you know, money from a single person once every year for however many years. So, like, they need to get all that money right away. You know, at once, basically. That's how they yeah, do it. Yeah, I get that. Even, like, even still, it's like... I don't even know. Yeah, alcohol. Why, yeah, we why, can't drink why alcohol are until we're so 21. freaking expensive? Oh, uh, yeah, that's just because, the, I guess, the... the the manufacturers of the textbooks want their money too for the same reason like there's not that many of them you know being made so you know if anything happens to it they're gonna charge a lot for it because there's you know there's not too many of them in existence it's you know how it's not much like does it's it take a, to manufacture a consumer. freaking book i'm sure it doesn't take that much to manufacture it's just that they have to sell it for a lot to be able to make substantial money you know as a business because, like, there's not that many textbooks being made. It's only for the students who need them. So, they're just making yeah. it, you know, a little more expensive than you would think to pay for a book. But that's just so that they make, you know, like, good profit from it. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, we can't drink uh, alcohol until we're 21 in America. But, like, most other countries, like, in, like Russia and Europe, it's 18 over there. No, yeah, like, um, I'm going on vacation next year, and, uh... As, once I go, I can drink alcohol. Because hmm. I'm going on a cruise, and we're going, like, the east coast of Mexico and stuff. Oh, and, yeah. And, like, I can drink in Mexico. You'd be able to drink there legally, yeah. But, yeah, not in America. You gotta be and, 21. like, even then, if even if I wasn't 18, my parents would be okay with it. Like, they would tell the guys, oh, he's 18. Yeah, I don't think my parents would be that lenient. They would not want me drinking anything before 21, even yeah, in another my country. My parents, they're they're more uh, scared of me doing drugs and all that stuff. Like, yeah. don't don't smoke, all that, all that yeah. stuff. The thing is, like, like the way my family and I drinking. see it, though, is, you know, alcohol is obviously, like, a drug as well. Yes, yes, and it is a depressant. And I get that. I'm definitely going to be careful with it in college. But, like... It's my parents are a little more lenient with that, mainly because like they drink themselves and they don't drink excessively. They know how to like properly take care of themselves when drinking. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. My parents aren't heavy drinkers either. They very rarely drink actually. Like only when it's like a party or something. And even then they barely do it, you know. So like I don't, I mean even just like for personal decision I don't think I'm probably gonna be that much of a drinker I'd rather do like oh no I'd rather honestly do marijuana if they make it legal because <laughs> it's honestly a lot safer than alcohol it has a lot of different effects than alcohol does and it's just a generally like safer and more medicinal drug than alcohol really is like you know See, I don't know yeah, if medicinal is the right word but like marijuana does have some medicinal purposes what? like. I saw that happen. I've 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 heard so many different opinions on weed. Like people people tell me, oh, it's fine, you can do it. Like no, don't do it. Blah 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 blah. I'm, I'm the like, people who say you can't do it, those are the ones who are uneducated and they grew up in a conservative house, thinking that you know it's the worst drug, drug ever. Bad. Because America classifies it as a class A drug, the same level as heroin. 
Like, you're gonna really compare it to heroin? Really? When it's a fucking medicinal drug that's sometimes used for literal benefits? Okay, right. But, um, I just have a- Have- have you gotten high before? No, I haven't. I never oh, used okay. drugs before. Right. But like I would, I, mean, I, I would, I would obviously wait until I'm older to do it because you know the legal age for marijuana is 21 as well. I, I well, would, yeah. I would be a good law-abiding citizen and wait until the legal I age probably. Of, I wouldn't of course, like, risk anything. I have a lot of friends that are like, uh, oh my god, this weekend I, t I had a huge toke of weed and I'm. Like, and it's not even just about the law. It's just you know when you're you don't you shouldn't do it when you're underdeveloped. Like you should honestly wait until you're even over 21 to start doing that kind of stuff so that. Yeah, cause it like, doesn't mess with the development of your brain. Yeah. You're still developing all the way up until your early 20s. So, like, yeah. then it's kind of okay to start doing it because it's not going to mess with your brain as much. The thing is, when you do it as a minor, it messes up, it messes you up even more. No, because yeah, not yeah. only is it screwing you up, it's messing with your de like the development of your brain, and that's even worse. Yeah. So, like, you need to wait to, you know, be a proper age to, like, start doing that stuff so that it doesn't, you know, it's still going to affect you, but not as severely as if you do it when you're a minor. You need to, like, be able to, you know, control yourself and do it responsibly. Yeah, I get that. And, like, even then, you know, you can die from alcohol. You can't die from weed, though. You can't overdose from weed. It's impossible. And, like, that alone is just enough to be, like, you know... It's it's a lot safer and you know. No, obviously, yeah, yeah, you I, still I shouldn't that. do it a lot. You, sh you shouldn't overdo it. Yeah, you shouldn't do you it shouldn't responsibly. Overdo. But like, just in general, it's it's much safer than alcohol. I think just Again, because of the we physical sound like effects. Old men. <laughs> well, actually, we don't because old men hate weed and they prefer alcohol. Oh well, because I, they're all conservatives. I mean, like, we sound older than we actually are. Yeah, we do. We sound like we know what we're talking about. I mean, we probably don't, but that's just what I take from it. You know. It's just no, yeah, yeah, everything like, I've heard. I may be young, but I'm very observant. His classmate told me a story when her friend took an exam on heroin and got like 80, 85 <laughs> out of 100. Even though he's stupid I have as never fuck. heard that before, Jesus Christ. Yeah, don't do heroin. Like, if you want to die, then do no, it, like... but... Heroin is like suicide in drug form. I've never wanted don't to take any it. kind of kind of drugs, especially until like I would not have the 1350 SAT score that I have if I were doing drugs at my age. Hmm. Is that SAT yeah. or pre-SAT? SAT. Oh yeah, I took the SAT. I don't know if I got my scores back yet. I don't think I did. I when did you take it? I took it in June, so I don't think I'm gonna get it Last until June? no this year. Oh, oh okay. Um, you should get them pretty soon. I got them like two, three weeks after I got, after I took it. It was the beginning of June, so like maybe I have and, it now. I don't know. Like the best part, I went to I went to my school's prom, and I got the scores while at prom. So uh, that made the day a little better. That's nice. Yeah. I felt like the SAT was super easy, so I'm sure I got a very good score on it. Oh, like I. I definitely needed a tutor, and I and I got a tutor that, that she definitely helped me understand what I was doing and take a little, like, help me relax. Cause like all the all the proctors for the test, like you have to answer all of the questions. Like, no, you don't. Um, yeah. There, there may be like a little bit of penalty, but it's not like a a a test for a class where you're gonna get a terrible grade if you like skip a lot of questions cuz i mean obviously if you skip a lot of questions they're not going to consider it and you're going to get a low score anyways but like you're not going to if you if you don't answer like two or three questions you're not going to get penalized for it yeah like it's not going to yeah it's not going to be too much of a problem you know they still want you to, like, at least try to, you know, guess, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I, I, I believe a you. guess, a wrong answer is, you know, they don't count, like, wrong answers, but they do count against blank answers. So that's why they say you should try to answer all the questions and, like, guess okay. the ones that you didn't get to. But, you know, I managed to get through all of them anyway, and I felt like they were all easy, so, like, I'm pretty sure I did yeah. very well. I also Ooh. did the essay. And like, oh, I didn't God. finish I did that. Terrible on the yeah. essay. I mean, 
the thing is, I'm a, I also took, you know, the AP language exam, and I did the AP history exam, so, like, if the colleges want to see how good at, you know, writing I can be, I feel like they would take a look at that as well. They're not just going to look at the SAT. I mean, they care more about the SAT than the AP classes. Because, like, the AP classes are just for, like, you know, extra credit or whatever in college. Like, it doesn't yeah, really I determine don't... that much. Yeah, the AP, te the AP classes are basically, you want extra credits in college, uh, go, then just take this. Yeah, oh yeah, I made the, uh, ending, uh, like, the victory theme, the, the Tingo Skra. <laughs> I freaking I made it the... Man's not hot, uh, yeah. I, I don't know why. I mean, that's a dead meme now, but I just made it in that out of nowhere. I was just like, yeah. victory theme is that. I think I made the even the losing theme that, so like, even if we lose, it just plays that at the end of a round. Yeah, I mean... Take your first official exams next year, and that's pretty good. Russian, math, English, and one of your choice, and you chose geography. That's pretty nice. You know, like, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, if I went, if I... If I like went to school in another in another country like China, oh god, I would not survive. <laughs> China. Like I don't mean to sound racist or anything, but like in actuality, I I did learn a bit of uh, Chinese culture and how their education system works. It is really fucking intense. Oh wow. <laughs> I've heard European schools. How did that die? And I mean, I can like agree with this because from what i've heard from my european friends and like how their education works like it seems much better than than uh american oh, no, no. education I, I, I have to agree the u.s the u.s education system is fucked yeah it's pretty uh like they teach things in europe at like you know years like, earlier than they do in america the spanish classes in the u.s or nj at least they don't teach you the kind of Spanish that you're gonna be you're gonna be using to communicate with people. Yeah. But honestly, like, I don't memorize it. They don't teach it the right way. Yeah. They teach it like, okay, class, this is, this means this, and like, okay, cool, but like, how am I, mean, I gonna hold the conversation? To, uh, you know, I don't know if you have, like, Spanish classes at your school, but like, here... No, like, I definitely have Spanish classes, and... Maybe if I, maybe if I, like, stayed at East, I would have gotten a better Spanish education. Because, like, the Spanish teachers at, they basically, like, give you an A in that class. Hmm. They don't teach you shit. Yeah, I only took Spanish, um, like, sophomore year. So, like, last year or whatever, I guess two years ago, technically. Um, yeah. But, like, they definitely teach sentences and they want you to try to, you know, they... You know, you have to do, per like, presentations, like, you know, you gotta at least learn how to communicate some basic sentences, but, like, it's all just random stuff. It's, like, we're, we're gonna learn about different, you know, activities or whatever, and, like, I guess it's good for tourism, like, you know, El hiking and stuff. in these pantalones. Camping, tourism, whatever, in the forest, yeah. but, like, you know... Like, I, I don't remember anything. I'm like, I, you know, you're yeah, not required yeah. to take Spanish more than, like, one or two years. So, like, I'm not taking it anymore. I didn't take it my junior year. I'm not taking yeah. it. You know, a lot of colleges don't require more than two years. I mean, some of them might. Yo, thanks for following Callisto Bam. I think someone else followed earlier. I didn't see who it was, though. I need to check whoever it was. Thanks. If I don't think I have there, any followers. Rip. Yeah, go follow Azrak Shinji. Twitch.tv slash Azrak Shinji needs followers, guys. Please do it. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Let's see. Um, am I locked in here now? Okay. I don't even have viewers. I'm so sad. A rip. Well, you have viewers through my stream, technically, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Not on your gameplay, though. I could have just been hosting your stream. <laughs> yeah, you could have, actually. But hey, I wanted people to see my gameplay, so... Choose another language, German or French. Yeah, in America, it's mostly, you know, they have German and French no, yeah, as other have options. German, French, and Spanish. Usually but... it's it's Spanish, though, and, like, that's the only one that you learn in elementary, really, like, grade school. I'm, like, younger I'm really school. I don't even get a choice at PA, it's just Spanish. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't get a choice of German or French until you're in high school here. Like when you're in elementary school and like middle school here, and like, you have to learn point... Spanish. And that's just because America's secondary language is pretty much Spanish because of, you know, the, high, the heavy influence of like Mexican culture and yeah. like Spanish origins in, this, in the other parts of the country. That and illegal immigrants, but we won't bring those up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not getting political here. It's just... Yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump, fuck all the po politics shit. At least Trump is better than scuffed Hillary. Scuffed oh, Clinton. definitely. I would make a better president. Vote as actually yeah. for president in 2020. Yeah. Uh, 2036 or whatever. 2036, yeah, yeah when yeah. I actually get to be the age required. Yeah. I, I think the only major requirement you have to have for to be president is you have to be 35 yeah i mean anyone and, and can be president as long as you're a yeah you're a U.S. you're a u.s citizen as long 35. as you're 35 any u.s resident you can fucking run for president you have to Probably be have to go through a lot of paperwork you have to be born in the u.s too yeah yeah so yeah. like you have to be a natural born u.s res resident yeah obama cheated country. yeah obama <laughs> obama he was not born in america <laughs> obama hacked kappa you know what i mean yeah. Like, he was born in Hawaii, by the way. Quotation yeah, that marks. doesn't count. <laughs> he just missed it, actually. I mean, even if it was before 1959, I'm sure it would have counted or something like that. I think it, that's allowed. But he was born in Hawaii in 61, two years after it became a, a state. So, like, he yeah, just barely it still doesn't count, but... missed it. Yeah. I mean... It counts I'm only now, joking. But, yeah, I know. Yeah. But still. Yeah. It's just... Have like, we gotten this thing anywhere, this payload? I don't even know. Oh, no, yeah, we've been moving it. I think we're at the end of the... Yeah, true. I think this might be the last game that I'm going to play for tonight. Yeah. It says uh, this has been fun. Yeah. Good talk about many topics. Yeah. Especially when we were talking about how kids nowadays do not live the same and I feel bad for them and how yeah. times are changing so quickly it's like in the 20th century a lot of kids grew up relatively similar and nowadays it's like I'm growing it's up so much different than the kids who were born 10 years after me, just a decade after me and it's yeah, already it's like a scarce. new generation very different yeah it's weird some unis are cancelling military classes that avoid you going to no, the military yeah. so does that mean like everyone is like gonna have to go to the military because like in russia i believe it's like a requirement you have to go to the military or something when you're like yeah. 18 is it i don't know i think so i don't know not in america america i mean you have to sign the draft but the draft doesn't exist anymore so it's like it's weird i'm definitely uploading this re-uploading this to my channel yeah i upload all my vods too it's yeah the hell do you think I am? I don't know. Oh, look at this guy. His name is Who the Hell Do You Think I Am? I love how we've just been playing this game, talking over it, not giving a shit about the gameplay. Like, yeah, I died I mean, so you know, many times about one video. Game anymore. It's just, you know. It's a, it's, a, it's a dead game. Yeah, you can't take it seriously anymore. I mean, to be honest, I never took it seriously. But, like... You, you know, it's like if you thought of it seriously in the past, you can't anymore. Oh my god, we won! Remember you asked me for help? Oh yeah, it was too late. Oh wow, that sucks. You mean, you mean Yena? Or the one I helped with the, the English thing? I don't All know. Right. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for me to, tonight. This is good. Yeah. This, I think this is the first time I've streamed with someone else, so that was cool. Oh, uh, yeah. That was that was pretty fun. Yeah. It was all right. We should try to do this more often, although... Yeah, I guess we I could. Can't, I can't really think of too many multiplayer games that we could play that we both have. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta find some other ones or something. Yeah. We gotta, like, find some new ones that other people don't play. Yeah. I'll Let's keep see. an eye out. Yeah. No, I was gonna check the other server, but like if I start playing it, I'm gonna get into it, and then you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go do other things now. So yeah, this is a good stream. Indeed.
So, uh, friggin, uh, one of Ice Poseidon's friends, Sam Pepper, and his other friend are live streaming in New Jersey right now. I don't, uh, you saw the alerts on my Discord, right? Huh? They're, uh, uh, yeah. They're, they're walking from Seaside Heights all the way to Philadelphia, and they, like, pass through Brick and Lakewood. And when they got to Lakewood, they couldn't believe how many Jews there were. I was like, <laughs> And then was, everyone who lived I'm like sorry. around the area in the chat, we were just like, uh, we were just like, at lol, they don't even know. Oof. They don't even know. And people were calling them Amish. I'm like, they're not Amish. They're just Hasidic <laughs> Jews. They are not um, Amish. Yeah. That's a, Jesus Christ. This is a weird place around here. It's so crazy because they like walked into a Target that I've like been in before, like the one in in Brick or whatever over by Lakewood. Oh, yeah. I think it's technically in Lakewood, but like it's right next to Brick. And it's just weird. It's like, I've been there before. Like, they didn't pass Tom's River or anything. They went around, like, through Lavalette, up through Point Pleasant, and then they're going west from there. But it's just weird knowing that they were around me. And, like, if I had my driver's license, I could have stream sniped them, and it would have been hilarious. But, like, I don't have it just yet, so I can't. Well, screw you, Sam Pepper, for yeah, not really. coming to Tom's River. It's it's boring anyway. It's like they're just walking literally for seventy five miles from Seaside wait, all the are, way to Pennington, wait, are they Philadelphia. Doing anything? No, they're just walking. That's it. They're just, <laughs> just walking. Literally just walking. I mean, they're stopping uh, okay. every now and then if they need to, but like they're just walking. They're just live streaming themselves walking down the highway. Like, good luck not getting killed at night, because New Jersey roads at night equals death. Oh wait. Oh shit. I think my mic was turned off that entire fucking stream. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> like, on your stream? <laughs> I think it was. A rip. Well, you got my stream yep. uploaded on YouTube, so it's all cool. Uh, 75 miles is not that long. If you're I mean, an American, like, yeah. yeah, it's pretty long, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Kate Kona. All right. Well, I guess I'm not uploading this to my YouTube channel, so I'll probably just, yeah, just just watch his. <laughs> Yeah, but still, go follow Azrek Shinji if you want. I don't Please. know what games you play on Twitch, but it's I'm... a co-stream, so I'm legally required to shout you out at the end of the stream, you know, yeah. just to be fair. I'm, I'm gonna try to be more uh, frequent with streams. I don't know what I'm gonna play just yet, but I'll see what I'll do. Yeah, alright, I think I'm gonna end the stream now. Let's see who's yeah. live on Twitch.television. Let's see, I'm going to host Kit Boga. I don't know what he's doing, but he's cool, so. All Who right. am I going to host? Yeah, I think uh, that's it for now, so I'll see you guys all later. Yep, catch you later, guys.